All right, hello and welcome to uh, another video. Uh, today we are exploring the Borough Market area of London, down in London Bridge. And um, so a little bit about the market. Unofficially, it dates back to the year of 1014, officially 1276. Then closed in 1754, reopened again in 1756, where it's been ever since. It's now run by a board of trustees. And uh, it's one of the best places, in my opinion, in London for food. Let's go and have a little look. Here we go. So here we are, this is the uh, Golden Hind, a ship that has circumnavigated the globe. Uh, this is a replica of the original Golden Hind, one of two. Um, one here and one down on the south coast of England. Uh, this was the ship of Sir Francis Drake, uh, which did circumnavigate the globe. Uh, like I said, this is a replica. Still circumnavigated the globe, for many uh, transatlantic voyages as well. Uh, it's been here in this dock since 1996. It was built in 1973. And uh, since then, like I said, it's travelled around the world. The original Golden Hind, not much is known of it, but not much is left of it. Uh, there is a few bits and pieces scattered around. Uh, I believe there is some uh, a chair being made out of the wood of the original Golden Hind, which is at Oxford University. Oxford University. Oxford University. And uh, yeah, nobody knows where Sir Francis Drake is to this day. His body was buried in a lead coffin and buried at sea um, around the Caribbean area. So uh, if you're around there scuba diving, you never know, you might bump into it. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna move on. Let's have a little look over here. There is something else I wanna show you. All right, so just here, um, it's not the uh, best light, but this is the ruins of Winchester Palace, which dates back to the 1100s. This particular building dates back to the 1700s. Um, but there was a fire that broke out here at the palace in the 1700s, burned the building completely to the ground. Uh, all that was left was these ruins that we see right here. Then another building was built over the top of this structure. And then in the 1800s, another fire broke out, uh, which revealed this beautiful structure that we see here today. And uh, then with the uh, 20th century renovation, it's now what you see here today. A lovely little garden, but it was the home to the Bishop of Winchester, who served as the royal treasurer to the King or Queen of England. Uh, so we needed to go by the king to uh, see what he was spending. Uh, it's part of a bit of what was a huge complex in this area and uh, the term in the clink, as in the term for being in prison, comes from this particular area as the prison here on these grounds was known as the clink, the clink prison. And uh, it's now a museum, you can go check it all out. Uh, in fact, let's have a little look, here we go. Behind me, as I said, that is the Clink Prison Museum. However, there is something I do want to show you. This lovely little picture right here, William Shakespeare. And uh, it is at this point, I do want to give a big shout out to uh, somebody who has uh, given me a lot of inspiration uh, in the old vlogging world. Uh, and that is a man by the name of Gabriel Traveller, who is uh, a fellow uh, YouTube vlogger, although uh, with a lot more success. Uh, I will leave a link below if you want to check that one out. But uh, the reason why I bring it up is because uh, the picture just over there of Shakespeare is actually uh, in one of his videos. But uh, the reason uh, that's there ties in quite nicely because just around the corner here is the Globe Theatre. Not the original mind. I am going to take you to uh, the spot where the original Globe Theatre was in just a moment. But we'll go and check out the new one where you can still go and see plays to this day. Uh, nice little pub right here. This is the anchor, which actually uh, Tom Cruise filmed in the uh, Mission, Impossible movie, Mission Impossible movie 
I think the uh, the first one, uh, first Mission Impossible one at the end is uh, seen having a drink in there. Uh, but it's yeah, very very close to the Globe Theatre, which is just around the corner. But as we get there, check out the view. So this is the River Thames, not the River Thames or Thames, River Thames, and it's a tidal river. It will rise and fall 16 feet every single day. Last count, there was 125 species of fish that were inside the river, and uh, I did read, believe it or not, that it is actually the cleanest river to flow through any capital city in the world. The reason why it's so brown is because it's a tidal river, so it will rise and fall 16 feet every single day, which washes up all the silt from the bottom and uh, that's what makes it so brown. But pollution-wise, it is apparently the cleanest river. Also as well, just around the corner, something I want to show you. Everybody walks past this, no idea what it is, but uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now. So we had a little thing called the Napoleonic Wars, in which uh, we won. And uh, won a lot of the uh, French ships with the French ships, came with the French cannons. Didn't have anything to do with them because they wouldn't fit into our ships. So what we did do is stick them into the ground to uh, cordon off areas. And here is one. There you go, so that is a French cannon from the Napoleonic Wars. Um, and they're all scattered around London. Everybody walks straight past them. They think it's just another normal bollard that has been made to become a replica of uh, the French cannons. But that is one of the original ones from the uh, 1700s. Just ahead of us now is the uh, Globe Theatre. Like I say, it's not the original. I'll tell you the story why in just a moment. then this is the uh, Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, not the original. I'll tell you that story in just uh, a second. Uh, but just to point out this as well, this is uh, what is now the Tate Modern Gallery. Uh, it wasn't always that, it was a factory originally, but uh, just feature in another one of the Mission Impossible films. Uh, one of the latest ones, not the current one that's being made, but the one before that, uh, when Tom Cruise uh, was, where is it? Can't see. There we go, just about there. St. Paul's Cathedral he was uh, running across the roof of there. Then he ran straight over there, across Blackfriars Black Bridge, just over there. And then he made his way to the uh, art gallery where he climbed to the top of there and uh, missed out on catching the bad guy who uh, got a lift from a helicopter on top of it. So uh, just to point it out for you. But yeah, the uh, Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, there it is. Let's hear the story. So that is where the uh, current uh, Shakespeare's Globe Theatre stands to this day. But as we make our way away from the river, we're going to make our way up the side of the Globe Theatre. Uh, so if you want to walk this way, it's a uh, new Globe Walk. A little cheeky walk up here. Walk straight to the top of the road and uh, this is going to lead you to the original spot of the Globe Theatre. Not many people know about it, so I'm going to take you there now. Um, but yeah, the original theatre, uh, believe it or not, wasn't here. It wasn't always in the area either. Uh, the original Globe Theatre was in a place called Shoreditch, which is another part of London, uh, in the east end of London. Quite a hip survive. It's where you'll find all the uh, graffiti art all over the walls, where Banksy made a name for himself. If you want to check that out, it's a pretty cool little area. But the original Globe Theatre used to stand uh, in the Shoreditch area. But uh, there's now a pub there called the Old Blue last so that's a really nice but really cool old pub if you want to check that one out as well but that is the site of the original globe theater but it wasn't called the globe theater at that point anyway long story short um they needed to move the theater so overnight uh they dismantled the theater which was all uh, a big timber frame and then they moved it 
piece by piece through the city of London down here to the borough of Southwark where we are now uh, just uh, near the London Bridge area and uh, they rebuilt it in this area and this area was synonymous with uh, all the entertainment so uh, cockfighting, bear baiting, theatre, ladies of the night it was all happening in this end, in the ends around here um, but yeah, once you get to here by the way New Globe Walk, little junction where we are right now we're going to take a left turn and uh, walk down this street don't know the name of it uh, but yeah, take a left turn anyway, they moved to this area like I say, it was the entertainment area uh, of the city of London and uh, incidentally Bear Gardens it's where the bear baiting used to take place uh, it's quite an infamous uh, area and uh, there was a curfew on the city of London people uh, uh, they used to lock the gates if you were locked out you were locked here for the evening and uh, many people would actually find themselves locked out here on purpose because uh, that's where you find all the brothels all the uh, the bars the pubs all that kind of stuff anyway I digress so Alright, so uh, yeah, just underneath Southwark Bridge, just here, you're going to walk literally to the other side. And uh, on the site of what is now a load of apartments, uh, stood the original Globe Theatre. And we're going to check it out. Not much is there now to this day. However, they did do a dig, excavated the area before the buildings were put here. These are the buildings, apartments. And uh, as a homage to it, they uh, made the courtyard all tiled, but they put different coloured tiles where the original uh, building structures still stand to this day. So just here, underneath the ground, two metres below, where the uh, different coloured uh, bricks are on the ground, stands the original foundations of the Globe Theatre. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, this building was built on the top of the Globe Theatre in the Georgian times. There you go. That is the site of the Globe Theatre. So here stood the Globe Playhouse of Shakespeare. 1598-1613. Commemorated by the Shakespeare Reading Society of London and by the subscribers in the United Kingdom and India. There you go. All right, let's say goodbye to the uh, Globe Theatre. We're gonna head now to Borough Market. We're gonna check out uh, the market itself, which unofficially dates back to the year of 1014, officially 1276, then closed in 1754, reopened again in 1756, and it stood there ever since. Uh, it closed in 1754 due to an act of parliament by Charles II that was causing a lot of congestion into the city of London. So he abolished the market in an act of parliament. Market workers weren't too happy about this, as I'm sure you can uh, appreciate. So over the course of the two years, they raised a small amount of money, £7,000, which is uh, a lot of money these days, to be fair, but it equivalent to uh, a lot of money back then. They bought a small plot of land where the current borough market stands to this day, and they've reopened it again in 1756, and it's been there ever since. Let's go and check it all out. Been through many, many uh, incarnations through the years. Originally, it was a uh, wholesale fruit and veg market. Now, it does cater to uh, fresh food cooked every day. Uh, and it is probably, in my opinion, the best place in London for food. In my opinion. Let's check it out.
seen of uh, many many movies through the years uh, three probably more notable ones in recent times first one being one called lock stock two smoking barrels British gangster film uh, and in that movie the musician sting actually uh, plays the barman in the movie and this is the pub uh, where they filmed it so sting has pulled pints behind the bar here uh, the other one is another uh, British film called Bridget Jones Bridget Jones diary now a trilogy uh, but the pub actually doubles up so the apartment above was Bridget Jones' apartment in that movie as well. And uh, in that movie, Hugh Grant, Colin Firth, they have a fight in the middle of the street, smash through a restaurant window, and it was this one right here. That's the restaurant they use. And this is the street where they had the uh, little fight in the snow uh, over Bridget Jones. And uh, yeah, so that is the pub right there. Uh, let's go and check out the actual front door of Bridget Jones as well. The other one is uh, Harry Potter, which is at the other side over there. Let's just cut to have a look at that and then we'll come back to Bridget Jones. All right, just behind me here, this is the Mexican Resco restaurant El Pastor. And uh, this was used as the entrance to the Leaky Cauldron in Harry Potter. One of the movies, not all of them. Just throwing it out there. And here we are back then. Uh, this is uh, the front door. Uh, our side door of the building, the pub where uh, Bridget Jones used to live, she used to live up there in the apartment, just up there. But yeah, this is the, uh, the door they use as a front door in the movie, straight across from the restaurant where Hugh Grant and Colin Firth had a fight. There you have it. So uh, that was just a little video on the uh, Southwark Borough Market, London Bridge area. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, took a bit of info from it. I am now gonna chill out and eat these uh, fish and chips. And I'll see you on the next video. All the best.